Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, riveting, and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only master propaganda hero of Psych, like defender of the fatherland of here to a one the one on Simwa. In the south, we got here the most gentle of foxes. It is a gentle fox fighting for the German army, Deutschland. Here with the 90th Panzer Grenadier Division in Northeast and Dumais fighting for democracy and freedom. Here with the 1st Infantry Division, tasked with carrying this particularly tactically vital flank and preventing the Germans advancing too far. We got here double as one years for to make it goes for armor, and we got the Panis going easy for General Fox, but General Fox has yet to reveal his hand. Though, argument comes to General Fox, I do find he has a slight tendency towards favoring mechanized more than the other battle groups. But we'll have to see quick surprise with the low fire or breakthrough. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued generous and absolutely delightful support of the propaganda cast. Keeps making all these videos possible. And a big hearty thank you commenting, liking on them. You know, helps out with the YouTube algorithms immensely, which will always try to bury me. So triple assault years for Dume, certainly from an urban map like this, going hard in this sort of years with the grease guns and a close quarters action can, you know, make quite an impact on the opponent. So it's not necessarily a bad idea here what Dumais is committing to here. Obviously, a bit risky versus light vehicle builds, but he's up against the Wehrmacht, not the deck. So not an immediate threat. It's not like, say, General Fox could, like, hit him with a lot of Ketten Krads. I mean, technically could, but they'd be powerless. So, up to this is here. Another lovely match on Samoa. Also, heads up, at least if there's recording this patch, there's been a... Hot fix, you know, announced like nerf down the grenadiers amongst other things. Also, buff the Australian troops. I'm a bit concerned about that because while the early game definitely is a bit weak, the late game is kind of nuts at the moment. So I'm a bit concerned they might miss the mark there. But we'll see. I mean, the other way there, other way, pot fix for balance changes has been confirmed for those currencies that are recording this patch. Also, I'm trying to get this match out a bit faster because you know I thought it was a pretty interesting one there. So. Anyways, 30 Kelly for Dumais, we got the weapon support center build here, somewhat common there with these kind of sort of new openings. We'll of course have a few follow-ups next, General Fox with the Grenadiers. I would not be surprised here, Dumais with a half-track here versus General Fox, machine gun popping to the church in the center. Strong position here, and certainly will leave Dumais probably slightly wishing he had gone for the barracks and some mortars. I mean, he still has options for dealing with this. He could launch a larger scale assault with flame flame gears, and certainly there are several avenues of attack to do that with, so it's not all, you know, doom and gloom here for Dumais. But it is worth pointing out there. East up, Pioneers bring out. General Fox's force is definitely more of a conventional opening. Pioneers, Glendiers, MG42. No Caden Krats, and arguably a map like some would say is great for Caden Krats, as you know, wider open spaces. Much harder just to pin down the Caden Krat and deal with there. Good. Dumais with a mechanized support center, which has received buffs. And of course, this likely means, of course, Dumais is planning to rush out some half tracks here as General Fox, fast M16, of course, in particular, could be a heading and a half here for General Fox and the Germans. South City Pioneers with the Sort Engineers, Race Guns vs MP40s, Pioneers are rapidly routed. We got engineers setting up with flame first. Machine gun reposition though, General Fox perhaps sensing he's gonna like you know get you know flanked here, but Alder has the machine gun moving. And certainly if you leave a machine gun like that for a long time, you probably should anticipate a flank, particularly opponent has a lot of assault engineers that can be upgraded flame for us. So I would say that was a pretty salient move there by General Fox. Plus, it just, you know, had it, like, sticking around there so long on its own. Always a good way to lose a machine if not careful. We do get the infantry officer's quarters on the way here for General Vox. Harm is honest, not expecting to go for that since he hasn't gone for Luthafi. He hasn't gone for Breakthrough, so there's not really much of an incentive, I feel like, for General Fox to go for unless, like, he's going to go for more units out of it, which it doesn't appear like. He oh, he's going for the Mortar now, so kind of makes sense. Do Maze with more sorting units. I would expect the half taker actually out of him. But there you go, officer's quarters ready. Of course, this will at least definitely halt Dumais' plans slightly. If he's going to go for half tracks because the veterans will upgrade does mean the Glenies get a boost to the Pantafaz range. Probably shouldn't. We'll have to, of course, that's one thing they turned down. But the Glenies are very much in the crosshairs of the balance team. Got the cutoff point there. Good push here by Dumais, leaving General Fox there a bit in a tight spot. He's gonna add me for this ready though. And there you go, M16 anti-aircraft half track for Dumais, Democracy and Liberty. Honey's by the sort of use that covering up here. Can deploy a smoke with a mortar, of course. Vertical and the pioneers. Blasting through here. 
No, oh, we do have flamethrowers for some of those pioneers. Not all of them, because that would leave them wide open to mines here out of the domains across the center. But good push you the domain so far. M16 is almost done. Scouts, it's only swing forward here. Growing points up there. MG42 and crew ready. Fun fact about the M16, but after the war, they would come we up with a slightly more armored version at least for the gun pit they were like just massive gun shields it's like gonna cover up the gunner basically all fun fact there but i think not much really else changed on that one sony's moving about here but still you know very fairly popular and also a single secondary note this you know gun where the 450 cows like mounted this platform but also they also had like a version for like just placing it on the ground with a pair of wheels similar in a way to like you know Black feelings and stuff like that, but just isn't typically shown in game. That's what he's flanking the gun it is. Funny is there. Sony is suppressed the grenades as well. Gun Fox shown in favor of the maze. Very good here. Meanwhile, got caught up flanking by the scouts. Aggressive plays here. And here we see General Fox panning for diving in the grenades so fast. Obviously, not anticipating the uh, M16 like this out of the maze. General Fox for Panzer going to compete and mechanized battle group. He's going here for the 251 half track. Perhaps a Sturmer? Perhaps not. We'll have to see. But Dumais now found himself a bit blocked down here. Again, the lack of a mortar here proving to be a bit of a headache for Dumais. Of course, he does have other angles to attack from, like for some through here. Just as we're noticing, Code 2 most places they are here prefer to attack from what you might call the clown corridor because they just apparently can't perceive any other flank path so of course they did add this though again even then for some people apparently old habits die very very hard unlike their the men motor pool on the way there for Dumais might be seeing a greyhound here two fifth and a half to go out here being upgraded to the Sturmel providing General Fox with more light artillery support here thumbs up in this case more direct artillery support As a Sturmer was meant to like, like the Lactus in front of the shots, I've seen provide more direct fire support. Like, you know, they could basically see the target, shoot at it from a distance. So, a little fun fact there. They were typically part of a Panzer Division's armored Panzer Grenadier units. Going straight here for the M16 with the Sturmer. Nice shot there. So, only the improvement to the case makes it does make the stream a better factor shooting at light vehicles, too, I suppose, which is definitely not something you might consider more. But there we go. Nice flank of the domains. Does help break out the stalemate here set up in this case, though. General Fox and the stream able to support here and turn around. Panzer Gun is on the way there. Fuel cash here. Smart play the domains. Of course, more fuel. And there you go. Now we can see Dumais having spotted the chaos caused by that assault in school flanking in. Is now tanked from the others as well here. Good push here by Dumais. Flame was cast machine here. As Sony is taking a hit here, but still, it's looking a bit rough here for General Fox and Machine Crew. We could see a wipe here. It does go down. Two thumbs up, Dumais. Really good push against Gen Fox. Third, Kaldim with Stool. He's gaining Metron to one here. Panzer Gun is out. We do get raid package, but still, Dumais here. He's trying to run off the machine gun. His assault units are taking heavy losses against the Stumel and the Grenadiers. Assault needs to withdraw here. 30 cal may also probably get out of here too as well. They got the cutoff point back and the machine gun. That's pretty good. Meanwhile, got another assault just got flanking here and catching out General Fox's mort here. We do get Panzer Guns moving in here. Halting here. Dumais attempt to further sort of, you know, cause havoc here. Greyhound there on the way for Dumais. Sort of something out in the church here. Panzers could try and new breach, except he's short on the munitions. Stumel repositioning, a lot of Samex here. Guess he just clicked and then, you know, got dragged all the way there. Does happen. So, bad catch reinforcing healing. M8 Greyhound out. Axgard there out for General Fox and the 90th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. Stumel engaging in the assault mirrors. Good shot. Then easy on the cutoff point, up behind the sandbags. Dumais there, no armored side to go dashing in at the Grenadier C. In this case, probably rather just betting his opponent doesn't have his hand. Panther fight, munitions for the Panther doesn't care. And there, got Sorting is wiped out. Definitely good blow there to Dumais in return. Not quite enough to compensate for losing an MG42, but still good. Up north, the M16 is putting pressure there on Gentle Fox. Grenadiers and Panzer, or Panzer's Arctic falling back in the center as the Greyhound pulls through here. 
And we got War Machine here to Maze, clearly looking to leverage slightly. It was a bit harder. And General Fox here, tragically not going to go for Stug, but for the Pack 40. The Panzer Abwehr, Kanone 40. Grand Race Norfords. Sort of news spreading through here for Dumais and Democracy. We'll have to see what's next here. We're also interested to see what the other player will like rely on the call in tanks, you know, the Panther and the EC8, or they'll try to like, you know, tag up there. Sturmel here awaiting repairs. Park deployed. As I think, fun sight, though, the technically there's all larger version, you know, what the. This, in a sense, the Stummel as well, there were larger versions, not like they just made a bigger version, but Victory in terms of roll, there was what was known as the Grille, which used the 15cm Schwere Infanterie-Geschütz mounted on, well, basically the Marnit chassis, this is the Panzer 38T, for, you know, the similar roll here, so Stummel again firing on 15cm round instead of just 7.5cm round. They were also similarly part of the Panzergrenadier Division's uh, armoured Panzergrenadier, you know, units there. Fun fact. Research completed. Sony's in a bit of trouble here. An officer is being installed. Officer support for the Pentagon is two thumbs up, General Fox. Act like hitting a mine here. Good mining by Dumais. This is definitely bad here. News for General Fox's Act Hard here. Sundekraft Fart 6 Fine and Svein Dreitzig. Greyhound me and M16 going for it. First shot misses. Small bit of luck there for the most gentle of foxes. But now the Greyhound and the M16 descends upon it like a pack of wolves. But we got the pack for the moon in. And here we see Dumais extending with the Lackman support. There you go. Get the Arctic. Need to withdraw here. That's it. Of course, there's an escape path here. I also have to say, the Timor looks absolutely gorgeous in Kofi. Almost like a painting. Back here, troop reinforcing healing. No, of course, for this, the changes, there's not like engineers, but you set up a repair point with engineers somewhere. We got a machine gun or mortar pit going up here as well. Not a bad spot at all. Like vehicles repositioning. General Fox having pushed back. Go uh, Dumais a bit there. Mortar pit having a bad by the Sturmel. Another grand for Dumais. Mortar fire, Sturmel fire there. Going down here on the cutoff point. More action on the left side could be good here, I think, for Dumais. 10 grand almost done. Machine gun force back here. Cancel the mortar pit here just in case. I think that's a sensible decision by Dumais. Like, even he wins the engagement, I might think it's like, you know, well, waste of time. But at the same time, imagine, like, you know, he does win this engagement, gets ready up, he's going to have lost munitions. So, this is sort of, I think, the smarter move here by Dumais. Sturmel at Vecchi 2 there. Very nice there so far by General Fox and that Stummel here. Certainly Highline just had performs notably better like the Stug with the improvements here to uh, pathing for casemates. Arctad out there. Grand moving in. Machine there back to wiped out. Packs on the cleared out here as well. And we got the same Grimm as the Grenadiers here. Dashing in here. We've got a blinding shot here from the Sturm on the Greyhound because you caught in front of the pack forward. But there you go. We could see the pack wiped out now. Uh, that's a KLC. Stummel fires into the darkness. Pack misses. Our -tank gun is Pack white and control. absolutely brutal melee. A brawl of huge proportions here for this corner. Grand is about to get wiped. Arctic going for the Greyhound. Could try and grab Pack 40. We still got the Stummel here. Are the Greyhound there? We got a champion left for Dumais. Second Grand going in here. Flanking the Arctic, forcing him to the draw. And this saves Dumais first Greyhound. But he might actually end up losing the other Greyhound. Now he's not careful. Move up northwest here we got here. Dumais extending another axis of attack here versus General Fox. Two thumbs up. General Fox infantry yeah, suffering. We've got the mobile repair drive. stations upgrade, though no units can really do it. I believe the Stubel can't actually utilize it. Which would be a bit nuts if it could. Ooh, Pioneers caught and white. That's a bit of a slip there for General Fox. But right there for Dumais and Democracy. And there we go, we got the repair engineer set up here. Champion almost done here. Oh, Sturmel here trying to take on the Greyhound. Oh, that's such a risky move here, boys. Well, a risky move. I mean, it's still risky, but I guess it paid itself off. That said, the Sturmel did provide General Fox with a lot of utilities, so not exactly a deal either. But at least he got the Greyhound with it. 
Bag of base, it might be worth considering for General Fox to take up. You know, going for some strokes. Or take up for some stars, Torben. I don't have to see what he does, but I'd certainly recommend either of those two paths. Domain Seal with the excellent Seek and Destroy ability. Assault News moving towards the center here. Note that in the United States Army back then, Assault News were specific, like, battalion level attacks when they could, like, make divisions. They were not organically part of it, say, like, Pioneers, which were, you know, basically Assault News, but, you know, more organically part of German Inf divisions, Panzer divisions, and so on. Quick note there. M16 with chaff support moving in here, but right to the gun leaves, Panther Faust here. More today, also spotted, routed. Going for that arc guard here. Panther Faust the M16 blowing out the engine. Chaffy here going for the arc guard. Catching a Gen Fox and Bounce, but we do get another Panther in the squad. Two thumbs up. Definitely more popular after the buffs that they got. Akra down, a smashing blow here to Deutschland. Another victory for democracy. M60 in the repair scram going forwards. Chaffee withdrawing here, pack, trying to catch up with it, but Dumais delightfully dodges it. Then he's a hold by the 30 cal routed. I mean, still could be a need for General Fox to take up. And certainly Dumais wouldn't be, I think, entirely punished either by maybe going for the tank depot now and trying to like push for something a bit heavier, but we'll again see what they decide on. Also got the M31 recovery vehicle here for Dumais. M42 flanking the Panzer Grenade easy. Again, this machine continues to be an absolute steal there for Dumais and the forces of democracy. North East ground busy with some Grenadier. There we go, the Pack 40 to the rescue with a Panther Faust here. Greyhound engine blown out. No sign of further tech here for either Germany or America. At least for now. And he is piney. Oh, Panzer's piney's went to the center guard. Maybe Fortress is sitting up here. Oh, that's the 30 cal. Mine goes off it. Good mining by the maze. And in fact. General Fox has lost his Pioneer Squad number two. This he doesn't have to like any immediate, you know, source of minesweepers here. Which certainly could prove to be very painful for General Fox, well, more painful than it already has proven to be. North Hick Green keeps being hunted down. He's made great use here of the terrain to try and, you know, stay clear of the pack here. And the Granny is trying to hunt for the Greyhound, leave the pack uh, unattended, but still they get the Greyhound with the Panda Faust here. Sting and blow there to Dumais. Chaffee, M16 moving in here. Pack crew wiped out. If Dumais does get that, that's going to definitely think undercut. Oh, he's going to destroy it as well. I mean, I would say steal it, destroy it, all the works up. But stealing would certainly make a bigger loss there for General Fox in a way. Do get a pack 40. We do get the Panzer Company. Two thumbs ups. Slight save for Dumais. I should have treated the Assault Unit sooner. Dumais here pushing out the Panzers with M16, saving the Assault Unit squad. Not most of the Assault Unit, but the squad is preserved. Thumbs up the Dumais there. And he's going for the tank up as well here. And certainly also again one of those major things to notice under this new patch. You know, people actually like going for like, you know, the final team off. No, the Germans. I mean, the Americans will still do it in the previous patch. For the Wehrmacht, there's just not really much of an incentive to go for the Panzer Company a lot of the time. Anti-tank gun and crew but thanks to the Panzer order. Company, something made cheaper, but also buffed to some of these units. There's been a definite, like, notable increase there. We got the EC8 they prepared, and I imagine General Fox will, of course, go for the Panthers and unlock there. And then maybe, yep, could go for the Star Storm of the Sword Rifle Package, could go for Vespers. We'll have to see what the most General Foxes decides upon here. The Bazooka team here, I would also not be surprised to see the Bazooka team upgrade here for Dumais. Eventually. Sword News Lane, Bissling down mines. Again, good mining work there by Dumais. Panzer Grenadiers pioneers in eastwards. Cutoff point again being capped here by General Fox's Grenadier. Maze Bazooka team are waiting some infantry to clear the way for democracy. And the tank depot is almost done. Bazooka team is sorting his 30 cows moving up here. More sandbags here being prepared. West side here, M16 Chaffee patrol moving in. But again, the way he's actually been good use the left side of the map here, not just getting focused around here like some players might do. Thumbs up to Dumais. Further south here, sort of use was the Panzer Grenadiers, the Pioneers. Pushing up this 
East Center here, West Side, we got Mortal Spotted here. Pushed back here, very good. Tax being around here to deal with that. Gen Foxy might try and hold up for the Panther, of course, Dume is lightly holding out for the EC8. In fact, he can get it out at a pretty fat discount, thanks to War Machine. You can actually get out an EC8 at, well, effectively less, of course, than the Panther 4. You have five command points available to you. And certainly, I imagine General Fox will be anticipating that, so he's probably not going to go for a Panzer IV because that's going to absolutely get trounced by this. Unless he, like, had a big lead on the Panzer IV, which he does. Oh, he does go for the Panzer IV after all. Maybe he wasn't, or maybe he just doesn't feel like he pulled away for it. But certainly, I would not have blamed him for holding out for the Panther under these circumstances because that's going to have a much better chance than, you know, Brat Pitt and his EZ8 there. A lot of mines exploding. Panzer is taking losses. Machine gun there, Chaffee, M60 running in there. Again, nice little tactical formation here by Dumais. Chaffee leads the way, blasts the vehicles. M16 covers it with its 450 cows. Punch goes then flanks routed. Cut off one hit there. Ooh, and another mine goes off there. Again, really good mining by Dumais. Meanwhile, Brad Pitt has arrived on the scene here. And a new factory fresh EC8. Meanwhile. Got General Fox here with this Panda 4. Would be an excellent idea to add some armored side skirts eventually. And of course, the officer's quarters here. So this Panda 4 sleeves, you know, stand a slightly better chance against EC8s and whatnot. M16 knocked out here. Bit of slip there by Dumais. An opportunity seized by General Fox. All the way down it goes. East side here, got the EC8 moving up. A sort of news and on mass supporting here. There we go. Good shot in the pioneer. It's almost takes out the squad. Forcing a route here for General Fox. I definitely knows about it out of the way. And he is narrowly avoiding being wiped here. Could see a wipe in Dumais assault news that would turn him up General Fox a fair bit here. And down it goes. Chaffee versus the Panda Fourth. Machine crew here forced withdraw in the face of the advancing German Panzer Kampfwagen. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. Fun fact about this in regards to the 90th Panzer Gunnishman, they actually had some Panzer IVs attached to it in this Panzer Battalion, which was actually fairly rare because most Panzer Grenadier divisions were meant to have Stugs in their Panzer Battalion, New typically the Stug 4. The but they couldn't actually the get Stugs for the 90th, point. so they actually received Panzer IVs. Fun fact. Mortifying the EC8 doing a lot better damage, but nothing significant. We also got here the Stossum Assault Package and the Mechanized Assault here for General Fox. Might be seeing some Star Storm, we'll have to see. But still love to see that. Panther Force slightly disengaging it, obviously not keen on slacking it out with a shiny new EC8. Less shiny new after him being shot at. You may see it making a second attempt at a mortar pity around the center. Really had enough about, you know, dealing with uh, General Fox's Granada and Alpha. Pentafall's almost fixed. Further southeast, we've got the Assault News moving up here. Territory sector lost. Oh, he's going for two of them. Interesting move here by Dumais. Intriguing, even. But, I mean, they are fairly cost-effective, so in a good position, they can definitely, like, pay off big times there, and certainly would make it harder for General Fox, like, no both hold to push into the city. 30 cal push bank here. The enemy has claimed our sector. Of course, due to the fact that it's a, more, it's a bigger map, though it's not, like, going to completely ruin the game, so compared to, like, a lot of the currently smaller 1-1 one -one maps. It's actually one of the reasons I do like some more so much. It's a nice, spacious map, which opens up for more tactics and maneuvers. Which I find is one of the primary issues with a lot of the other Co-3 maps and was one of the primary issues with a lot of the Co-2 maps. A lot of them were like way too small. Uh, pack 40 in line for General Fox, most gentler Foxes. I'm not obviously going to stand up with the EC8 and of course the threat of more EC8s. In fact, Dumais could go for another EC8 now. But there you go, one in the mortar pit spot here, second one being upgraded. I would worth slightly repositioning here and setting up there rather than there, as you can see there. The line of sight from here, where's they going to position it here? General Fox had to get all the way up here. Another easy hit there for Dumais. In the first infantry. Further south here, sort of sitting in the southern fuel pond, right outside General Fox's base, got flank here. 
Shafi trying to threaten a flank, but the Grenadier squad vigilantly at the ready with the Pandafast puts a stop to that. Comes they're taking a fair bit of damage, may want to withdraw them. Shafi withdrawing here, they got the EC there on the way for Dumais. The enemy have taken our territory. And it shoots, trying to take out the mortar pit, but again, the uh, better prepared position does make it harder to shoot with the pack 40 at it. And the EC-8 here prevents General Falcon just easily going for the mortar pit as well there. North here, Assault and Years Machine Guns moving in there. Big flank here from the base, possibly against we General Fox. Ooh, good shot on the pioneer here by the EC, but there you go. Pack 40 at 22 returns the favor more than happily. General Fox could go for the Panther soon. EC at the drawing here. Panther 4, they're going straight for the mortar pit. Kind of risky here for General Fox. EC with the damage engine saying he's not flanking the Panther 4 here. General Fox is start building the Panther here. Bring in with the Panther 4. No white profit shots here. And this large General Fox get off a shot here. But the gun and easy forgot about them. They got white. Good wipe here. Now we got the machine team. We could take out the Panther 4 there. Packs that are plenty here. We do get an assault squad flanking in here. Trying to take out that Panda 4. Dumais is willing to risk it. And he does get it. Good wipe. We'll destroy there. But the pack easy has suffered a damage. And you've still got the two pack 40s. Assault you need to get in fast. Flame from these scrolls are helped. Shaggy arriving. Bit late to the party, honestly. Not much you can do now. But the easy does escape. And Dumais is technically not too far from another one. Panther is slowly ramming here for General Fox. Fuel point there ceased, which does mean that General Fox is going to be looking a pretty long time from calling out of the Panthers because he's barely getting any fuel compared to Demise is getting a lot of fuel here. Part because again of that fuel cash. Pat Cruz here in trouble, really trying to take out that easy eight. Of course, one thing Demise could also consider here would be the recovery tank here to fix up the other easy eight. Perhaps he does that. We have been granted a panther tank. And there you go, panther out here for General Fox and the German army. Panzer Kampfwagen 5, Ausführung D. Rolling ahead for Deutschland. Another sort of squad here for Dumais. The enemy has cut us off. We have territory out of supply. Machine there's the panzer going to see. I still think General Fox would benefit immensely from a star from the squad, but uh, Nemo Domains just keeps pumping out Assault Nears and another EC8. And further south, the Assault's good flanking and catching the Pioneers and routing them. We got Martin there from General Fox, very good, thumbs up. He's also finally brought some Minesweepers. Comparatively, Domains Act hasn't brought up any Minesweepers himself. Panzer is in the car, pumping, supported by the Panther. EC8's moving up, Asuka seems in support, second EC8 almost there. Could even like friend here flank with the Chaffee in theory, but there's a lot of packs covering here. He's gonna try that, I mean we do get stars from here for General Fox, two thumbs up, EC8 diving in here. Going for that Panther's flank, nice shot, but then we got a Panther fast off here. And the Chaffee is down. armed and ready. Got the stars to mount here for General Fox. Do maze for another bazooka team. Like to looking to leverage the you know denser nature of the center of some war here to flanking with bazooka teams and of course sneaking some south charges. Got the stars coming up there with the MG42 and the G43s. The Gewehr 43. And going for the assault package, there, the ambush package for the assault rifles. Plus we got the officer quarters away for the Panzer Company, two thumbs up. Victory point is under enemy control. Routing the assault units there up north, the EC pushing back the pioneers. A lot of back and forth, and Dumais does have a good victory point with General Fox so far. Quick blend cover there, flashing out the American engineers there from the church. And there goes Stumgi there ready, the assault is driving straight to it. And the Panzer Gunners, this is going to end up very poorly here for Dumais Assault News. There you go, squad wipe, cut down in an absolutely hailstorm of Assault Rifle Fire. EC8 being pushed back by the Panther, meanwhile. Assault News in trouble here still versus the Star Storm and the Panzer Gunner, the Super Team's in support, plus the Assault News. 
Are there something you squad that is? Do Maze gonna be a bit wild before calling it another EC8? More to their adventure too. Ooh, Panther moving onto the centre. Bit on its own there. He almost got a triple cap here by from Dumais on Gentle Fox. He's down 138. Uh, Gentle Fox definitely wants to get something done here. He's hit, shoots, and somehow hits, but doesn't do any damage. This appears like that. Up north, the machine is spotted by the gun. is routed. 128 versus 322. We got that triple cap here from Dumais on Gentle Fox. Have their half health. Azuka team on the move. More a finding position getting over to Maze. This time again, you might notice it's a bit further up here, so it can't be easily shot out from Pack 40 around here. Panther moving in. I saw used to falling back alongside the EC8 here. Third of it up here in the house. Oh, no windows on that side. Further the south, the EC8 moving in. Catching the Pack 40 on the flank, but so even support. We do get Panzer Gun Stars to me on the flank. But that's not going to stop the EC8, obviously, since none of them have anti tank weapons. But Zuka team on the move here, catching the Panther there. Easy hit there by the pack 40, almost got it. Second easy hit now flanking the path from the other side, plus all these, we do have a pack 40 covering there as well. Pack wiped here, but that's not going to help though, for that one up here. Mort pit almost done, more all moving in here, center is ablaze. German infantry here of the 90th, Panzer Grenadier Sean are taking immense losses, but they are fighting back here. Sturm Gewehre laying down reams of bullet fire there against the American troops. Easy is falling back here though, do mates could go for another easy hit moments. Moments, in a few moments. General Fox might be going for another Panther soon, though, of course, he could also go for more stars to open. Ooh, popping the stars assault here, assault news there versus that. That's going to be why he does wipe the pack crew, but without destroying and seizing it, it's not going to matter too much as General Fox can just recruit it, and well, he can't recruit those guys now, can he? And another easy hit here for Dumais. Starts them there quickly forced withdraw. General Fox here could also start going for a Panther soon. There we go, it does do so. Another Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Also, at this point, it might be worth considering for General Fox just to invest into a medic bunker. Again, for coming casualties and you know, stuff like that. He goes for a Panther 4. Interesting choice because his opponent is going hard on the EC8. So he would like to make a lot of sense for General Fox to go for another Panther rather than a Panther 4. But, you know, a Panther 4 is still going to be handy for him. So he remembers to go for the other sides first. But definitely expect. Oh, EC8 down here. Drawing strength to the pack 40 C8. Dumais getting perhaps a bit reckless. He definitely wants that Panther dead. But it seems like he's willing to absorb an awful lot of casualties and damage in the process. Even popped the HRAP rounds, but uh, didn't have a mission for Seek and Destroy here. That ends up being a bit expensive there for Dumais. Wipe the pack, Panther moving in, it sneaks in a few shots. See Easy quickly dying behind a, well, the remnants of a house here. Second Easy moving in here, machine taking fire from the granat in the alpha. General Foxy occupying the western side here, Panther 4 moving in. We got Mechanized Assault, still no sign of armored side goes over General Fox. Pack crew wiped out. That means both packs have been wiped, and I think Dumais has definitely destroyed one of them. We can't quite get the other one there. Bazooka Team Trash. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a mistake there by General Fox. Rushing the Panther right around the corner. Saddle charge. Panther blown up. That was a misjudgment there by General Fox of the higher order. And that costs him quite a bit there. Pack. Panthers are forming in, we got a merch here from the Grenadiers to get that Panzer of Pack back in all action as well, that full strength. Dumais still is taking heavy losses, finding position down again. We got 95 and 184 here. 
West side here we got the Assault News Busy Lewis from Victory Point. Need to withdraw that EC8 here. Panther 4 being worn down here. Do maze there, sensing an opportunity to leave another crap Panzer burning. Go for it, Eugene. Do this one for Detroit. What about Detroit? You know, Detroit. Yeah, what about it? I don't know. Got the Panther 4, but it could cost him the EC8, at which point General Fox will win ahead here, honestly. Unless, of course, he does a lot of damage elsewhere. Also worth noting, he hasn't actually used the uh, either H uh, White Phosphorus here, the High Explosive Rounds here, and certainly here with the EC8, the High Explosive Rounds would actually be quite good here for just blasting through uh, General Fox's stuff. He almost got the mortar, but he does survive. Pack Wipe again. Ah. Still, Dumaze is um, not doing too, too amazing there. As he's taking heavy losses himself. Just absolute brutality. Pack destroyed. EC8 finally down. What will General Fox go for next? More Panthers? Panther Force? Dumaze, of course, goes for another EC8 because the US economy affords him it. It does appear like the US economy is starting to get a bit overheated. Got 80 feet between 77. Another pack 40 for Gentle Fox. His star to bet in T2. Maybe some white phosphorus to flash out the we Germans. And that's of course Gentle Fox does so willingly, anyways. They can easy it almost we done. First from Brad Pitt, they've been repaired. And he's trying to contest. A bit risky here. Fresh pack out there for General Fox. And the 90th Panzer Grenadier Division. Church finally collapses. Under the constant weight of the artillery boundaries being unleashed upon it. Further south here, Pani sneaking about. Now, also noting no real white fossil rock is that of Dumais Bazooka teams. Key. Will it be another Panther 4? Will it be another Panther? Will it be the Storm Panther? Will it be the Star 7? And there's plenty of paths to consider for General Fox. Pioneer squad taken out here. More sort of news for Dumais. He's clawing his way back to the fight again. Mercilessly pummeling away there at General Fox as though he was just a sandbag. Nine stone here. Another Panther for General Fox. Another Panther come fargen He's suddenly trying to sort of slow down the victory point bleed here, though, of course, the EC8 is more than happy to punish this. Yes, Comes from catching the sword in the EC with a Sturmgewehr. Another shooting there. Good shot from the pack forward here in the EC8. Oh, Pioneer's wiped. And that's actually a big problem now for General Fox because that was his remaining Pioneer squad. So that becomes a bit tougher there, you know, to repair his tanks. We will need to replace them. We got the Star Storm here, ambush ready up by the northern victory point, clearly hoping that Dumay sends in a nice squishy unit, which the Star Storm can then utterly annihilate. Remember, Jungs, uh, when the Americans arrive, we don't shoot until we say, see the white of the eyes, and then we say, Operation, and then we shoot them. Because that way, they'll be properly surprised. Can't bring four bats. Easy at moving in here, pack ambushed, getting flanked though. There you go. Oh yeah, he spots it, retreats, and General Fox of course too busy with the center fight. He doesn't see that missing the opportunity. So he's charging in here. There we go though. EC8 caught in a bad spot here, lacking him for support here. The Panther pack combo can overcome the EC8 fairly easily. We do have the Bazooka team moving in, but I think it's too late to save Rap Pitch Pan. EC8 here, down it goes. But Demaze does go for another self charge. He's taking easy to ramming though. Panther there massively shocked as a large amount of TNT just goes off. And the pack crew goes down again. Like both sides just continue to suffer like immense losses here. Neither side giving any quarter. Start some of the move there. Mortar though has to withdraw here, caught by the EC8, Panther returns, shot here in the EC8, Vexions 1. More Bazooka fire, EC8 fire down the Panther, shots, 
Sam K is actually bouncing off the Panther front armor to that one for the side. Machine gun sitting up here in the house on the cutoff point. Bit risky here with all, you know, the other stuff around here. I feel like this could go poorly there for Dumais machine gun crew. There, he's going for another easy hit again. And lost the machine gun crew here. Building utter collapsed. Machine gun crew entombed within it. Never to be seen again. Until some very confused archaeologists take them out. Mine goes off here. Dumais mind can do amazing work here. Stars from withdrawn from the center, having just moved up, leaving the fight to the Panzergrenadiers and the Panther. Easy taking a hit there from the Panther. Ace Panzergrenadiers, two squads of them. And the Bazooka team force withdraw another Bazooka team for Dumais. General Fox valiantly sending in his panther here with a limited support against the Americans. Easy hit taking a lot of damage. May one withdraw here. Good shot. They pop the HVAC rounds. Taking easy hit moving up as well. The ability is ready for use. Pioneers got around that corner again doing immense damage here to Dumais tanks and an easy hit popped again. Brad Pitt forced to bail out. Jump into the next tank and take command. Northeast, what do you think out there? Absolutely brutal armor engagements here. Dumais racing through the streets home to catch retreating Germans here as General Fox quickly realizing he might not be able to like withstand another head on engagement. Up north there, Star Storm pushing back these Sontaniers. We got 51 to 149. You got more mines around the center. Mines here laid down, exploding. Don't know if can do excellent work there for Gentle Vox. That's definitely been a great investment. And certainly an argument for Gen Dumais at some point. Maybe I just want to go for barracks just to be able to like build a regular mod, honestly. Just he had some kind of like, you know, more mobile artillery support. Forty-seven points left though. General Vox definitely a bit of a tough spot. He's going for another pant for meanwhile as well. Sandbagging in the center position there. Dumais gets ready for an, another German assault here. He's going for another machine gun team as well there, having lost all previous ones, including in that building. Staying in the Panther. Panther 4 halfway done. But, oh, he's supplying a flare for the mortar. Thumbs up, General Fox. Put the poison smoke, or in this case, just project there. Go engage in the ECE. Bring four that. North here. That's what we're making. Oh, that was going to take a new well. Panther 4 ready here. South charge off on the Panther again. Damaging the engine, leaving the Panther definitely a bit hard here to use for now. Could go for another ECE up north. Bazooka team right about the star storm. Panzer moving up the center, sort of easy, doing the best, but they're just outgunned by the hardened Panzer. But there you go, mine saves the day here. Killing Rulpecht und Alpert, allowing the Swords Moon to clear out the rest here. Bazooka team on the flank here, trying to take out the Panther 4. There's dispatch by the Panther 4, he's pushed back a bit here. Narrow save here for General Fox, could have cost on the Panther, they've been allowed to get close here. More German troops pouring into the center here, 30 cal setting up, providing further coverage here. General Fox may well consider a smokescreen here. Just allow them all to just bombard them, I guess. Stars being dispatched from the center, realizing he needs more troops to clear out the center. He needs that victory point. It's now or never. It's do or die. It's only not do or Deutschland. It could be Deutschland or die, I guess. Another option, of course, we should actually load some troops onto the Panther, the Panther, and Bryce for there. The victory point here. Panther, oh, it's only got wiped out here. 10 points left here. Everything's hanging in the balance, of course. If Dumais was cheeky, he could try and rush the other victory point now. But no. There's two caught up here. Meanwhile, German forces of the 90th Panzer Division are streaming into the center heat. Well, what's left of the center, like most of them, at this point, has been bombed into oblivion. There's like one house and a shit left standing. Well, there's also these two houses, but most of the enemy knocked out. Easy eight down. Good kill here by Gentle Fox. Another EC8 left burning on the road to Rome. Got the other EC8 route here. Again to fix out that Panzerkampfwagen fear. 
The Pengi sort of just standing about. Jem is just going, uh, Guten Tag! Uh, hamburger. That's these Americans. From the Eastern Victory Point as well, he six points left for Gentle Fox. Definitely looking to be a close one if he wins. Very close one. Dumaisi looking to launch in the sort of the Western Point. We got the Star Storm back in position. Bunkers being laid up. Definitely wants to like make it high for Dumaisi to rush into it. And there you go, Dumaisi launching a full and assault here, but also. Launching a small scale to assault to the victory point line. Basic General Fox out of the center. If you can just grab the other two victory points. Birdshot and the Panzer gonna deal it here. You see, Whitley swinging away there. Panther, Panther forming out into the trees. Moving westwards here. Swift advancing cut. These eight, they're ready to meet them head on. There you go, both German Panzer score hit here. These eight punching through the front line. Pursuit team moving up. Panzer goes in hot pursuit here. Didn't get to the Eastern Victory Point. We got 6 for 88. Ground the Western Victory Point there. Trying to win on the center, but this time though. Oh, he cancelled the bunker. Oh no, he repositioned it. In a sense. Bunker cancelled. Bring in here, Panda 4, Panzer Grenadiers. Panther. Six points. There's 179 here. Dirty cow there around it. Machine gun team wiped out. And he's heading eastwards. Got bazooka hit, I'm all to hit there. Hunter farm chain brief consider by Dumais, but he cancels it. Now these hit there for Dumais. And full scores a good hit here on the Bazooka team. Panda 4 opening up here. Bazooka team's up on the Panda 4. Their shot goes through. <coughs> Another Panda 4 General Fox. Starsome going at it. Bazooka teams are being ripped apart here. Good shot here from the Panther straight through the ECH front llama. Dumaze those looking pretty much like out of the fight now. He suffered too many losses. And McCrucia, I think, is just the infantry disadvantage you now. Like he's lost most of the sort of supposed to get at this point. General Pox has multiple Panzer Gunners and Star Storm scores are two or higher. And that really just means that coming down to a lot more to the tanks, but just Dumaze keeps losing his tanks, so. At this point, he's just sort of like, you know, kind of stuck. We have lost control of a victory point. Our Panzer IV is field ready. Now the Panther IV ready. Now. They scrum scheme with Eastern Victory point. point. Panther IV, Panther hanging back here. We got six versus 95 here. Esoni is about to get wiped out. That's a wipe as well here. Six was eighty-seven. Installing an MG forty-two. Machine gun there being upgraded in one bunker. This time on the far western victory point. And there you go. He's been trained to line up the pack and the Panzers and the Panther. Heavy damage have been taken on that rat pit. They tank Panzers. The Bazooka teams. Easy hit, close being knocked out. <coughs> Bazooka volley and leech into the Panda Force. Grenade on the Bazooka team. Oh dear, one Bazooka team down. Easy hit, about to get knocked out. Second Bazooka team expires in a few moments. Bunker there crumbling. Both Bazooka teams gone there. Get out the machine gun bunker up north here, but the Panther Ace was moving in. We got Mechanos Assault to get here. Six versus 46. <clears throat> Six versus 42. And pointing westwards here. Now 
And there you go, GG. Game over. A hell of a fight here on some wow. A lot of damage on both sides. Strong opening there from Demace into mid game, but he sort of sold out. And I think he's just sort of struggled to, uh, shall I say, shift his strategy around there. Which ended up benefiting General Fox's Panthers and all that. And the Stream Lords did quite well. I feel like it was kind of thrown away there. And so Demace ended up, I think, in several cases, like just pushing a bit too hard. They're losing a tank. And honestly, part of me thinks like maybe a recovery vehicle could have helped him out a bit, like, you know, help us deal with some of that armor attrition. But oh well. There you go, I hope you enjoyed this match, you learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment, tell friends, tell family, and as always, you can support the Pomelicast by doing our Patreon Patreon. This is Imperial Cheers, and see you tomorrow for the last episode. Bye, everyone.